What's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are talking about leave the world behind again. And why is that? Well, because I know a lot of people apparently love this movie, but the majority of people do not love this movie. In fact, a lot of people hate this movie for a lot of reasons. I went over that yesterday in my previous video, and uh, apparently it continues to get worse for this film. Checking it out right now, it looks like the score actually went down even further over at Rotten Tomatoes on the audience score, as you can see right here. <laughs> Now, not only there are people hating it, but also if you go over to the Google reviews, it looks like everyone over there as well is hating this movie with 3,800 ratings and it's at a 1.9 out of 5. <laughs> people are absolutely destroying this movie, rightfully so. I talked about a lot of those reasons yesterday. I even showed you clips yesterday showing some of the issues that people were having with this film, all the male characters being demasculated throughout the film. And the main thing that people are having issues with is the on the nose racism that this movie openly pushes. So over here in this article, it says Obama faces backlash for films warning about white people. Former President Barack Obama is facing backlash on Monday over a film in which he was a consultant, which warns about about white people. The film, which was released on Netflix Friday, follows two families forced to work together amid a nationwide blackout. As the threat grows, both families must decide how best to survive the potential crisis, all while grappling with their place in the collapsing world. According to Vanity Fair, while writing the script, they consulted Obama, hoping that his perspective would ground the story and make it more realistic. Ismail added that Obama thought the script was fairly close to how a crisis would actually pan out in the real world. Now, isn't that kind of interesting, especially with the clip that I showed yesterday, which I'll show here again. I'm asking for you to remember that if the world falls apart, trust should not be dulled out easily to anyone, especially white people. Even mom would agree with me on that. When in reality is the fact that they have to point out that, yes, you can't trust people during a situation like this, especially those white people, that is clearly pushing racism in the movie for an unnecessary reason. If that situation's going on, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, brown, yellow, blue, green, I don't care who you are, I'm not going to trust you, period. That is not the only racist issue that's going on throughout this movie. We even see Julia Roberts' white character questioning the fact that a black person would own an Airbnb. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Why would you question that? Why is that a thing? There is no purpose and no point for this movie to intentionally push a racist viewpoint. It's not necessary. They could have done this entire movie without having that stuff injected into it. The book that this is based off of did not inject racism, but they specifically did it for this movie. It's just not needed. There was, it didn't add anything to the film. It didn't make the film any more suspenseful. The fact is, it doesn't matter what's going on. We've seen tons of apocalyptic movies throughout the years with all races involved, and it does not matter. It doesn't need to be a racial thing. It was done intentionally. So over on Twitter, Libs of TikTok posted this. It says, quote, Netflix's film, Leave the World Behind, produced by the Obamas, includes a scene demonizing white people. White people are the only group you're allowed and celebrated to be racist towards, and it will be put into movies by the most influential people, which I completely 100% agree with. I mentioned that yesterday. If they were to say that about black people, the internet and the world would lose its mind. But then you have some people that are actually supporting this type of content and saying that this is a good thing, like this tweet here. So Twitter user Miss Ma'am wrote, leave the world behind touches on so many important things, but my favorite is that when the world goes to shit, black people should not be quick to trust anyone, especially white people. And we shouldn't be doing shit for them out of the kindness of our hearts. This is the point that I'm trying to make is that the racist part that they included into this film on both sides was completely 100% unnecessary. And all it does is create more division that's really unnecessary at this moment in time. But hey, it is what it is. I think the movie sucks. If you liked it, more power to you. I'm glad you did. But let me know what you guys think about the headline, the outrage that's going on, and the overall fact that people are completely hating this movie. Let me know your thoughts down below. I always love to see what you guys think. Like the video, dislike the video, comment below, and I'll catch you next time.